CBC TV 18's Lata Venkatesh, the outgoing governor, added that he's an academic at heart and never dreamt of being a career bureaucrat. Here's that conversation. I, I've said again and again that I'm fundamentally an academic. Uh, this is my side job. Uh, I was three and a half years at the IMF. I've spent some time at the, uh, in India, four years now. Uh, and, and really, uh, the idea is not to be a career bureaucrat or a career technocrat. It, it is more where I can implement ideas, where I can implement uh, 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 you know, uh, a reform program. Uh, try and do that. And, and I, I mean, this was absolutely a job I wanted to have. Uh, I, I think uh, I've, uh, we've worked together as a team in the RBI. We've got a fantastic team. And we've made uh, a great deal of difference. No, I, I think, Governor, for the first time, you're not answering my question. Uh -huh. uh, it's not like you at all. Yes. Uh, you know, we, uh, Did yeah, I come in with three years? Yes, absolutely. Okay. I, I, I was intent on doing everything yeah, I could. Because in your first speech, you said this yeah. is the short-term agenda. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I even highlighted yeah. that line. Yeah, yeah. So you had a, a, you a you know, longer your... innings uh, no, in well, mind that, that or is your, only That is your surmise. No, look, I'm, I'm not saying that uh, you know, I had in mind full stop at the end uh -huh. of it or whatever. But everything I wanted to do was structured for a three-year horizon. Now, as we started the bank cleanup, I saw there were some things which would require perhaps at least waiting and watching and being ready to react for a little while longer. Similarly, with the Monetary Policy Committee, maybe a couple of meetings to see it uh, going on would have been useful. That is why when people kept asking me, are you in for a second term, I said, well, there are things to be finished. No, in your but that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean in, in any way that, uh, you know, I was, uh, 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 what's the right way of saying this, that uh, I was absolutely hell-bent on having a second term. No, you just said in your letter to your employees that uh, I would have liked to see these processes complete. Yes. So uh, it uh, appeared that you wanted... I was open for, for staying a little while longer to see them complete, but at the same time, I was perfectly happy to go. But weren't you, uh, would, you be, would, would you have been open for a two-year term uh, extension up to two more years? Look, sure, that's a hypothetical question. We, uh, it we, is hypothetical, yeah, but there could uh, have been. I, I think the, the main issue is there are some things uh, that remain unfinished. But my sense is 90 to 95 percent of what I wanted to do, both in that opening statement and that have emerged after that, are done. Mm. as as initiatives uh, where you know you need to s set structures ideas have to creep in etc what is left to be done is in, you know to see it through and that also requires thinking that also requires changes but that is also a much longer term uh, a oh. issue and and really this job is never done yeah, <laughs> uh, you can never say okay, let me put it this way yeah. what could have kept you I'm telling you that there are a large, much larger number of people yeah. who would rather you stay. Right. So, I mean, what could have kept you? No, look, uh, I think there was a process of dialogue with the government. And, uh, you know, dialogue eventually didn't reach a place where we could agree that I would stay on. That's essentially what, what, what happened. So, given that, there is, the, there is no point uh, okay. talking about uh, what could have happened and what would have happened. Now, is it that uh, all those vituperative attacks, completely no, unjustified attacks, uh, changed uh, your mind? No, I, I, look, I, I've said again and again. First, uh, university gives you a pretty thick skin. Uh, okay. There are lots of attacks, not ad hominem attacks, but some of the attacks were ad hominem. Uh, that is, uh, imputing. Um, sort of motives and alleging things with completely without any basis. Absolutely. Those I, I, you know, I just uh, put aside. I don't even pay any attention to it. Now we have this unlimited dollar printing and now b governments joining the bandwagon. And exactly at that time, both bonds and equities are at their highest historical prices. Uh, how do you look at uh, this thing unraveling? You know, I, I, I worry. Uh, I worry because I don't think we understand fully what, what is going on. Um, on the one hand, this, uh, you know, the notion that these very low real interest rates are here because of low growth, low productivity, etc. 
but why do we have such low productivity? What's really going on? Are we mismeasuring it? Uh, or is it truly, uh, truly really low? And where is all this technology innovation, this healthcare innovation? Getting counted. Uh, where is it getting counted? Where is it getting uh, absorbed? So on the one hand, we're very scared we'll all be ro replaced by robots. But that means a huge increase in productivity and uh, based on technology. On the other hand, we are saying there's no growth. Right, so unscathed by attacks, but unwilling to stay despite wanting to. And if you want to catch that entire conversation with Rockstar Governor Raghuram Rajan, you can catch it right here at uh, 5.30 p.m. only on CNBC TV 18.